from 10 down to one, not in any particular order, just the order that we came up with. Um, they are research new products and services, implement new applications and software, acquire other companies, expand facilities, consolidate facilities if need be, open new facilities in your um, designs to expand, retain your employees, your most important asset as an organization, train your employees as you bring on new services and products, create new jobs as you grow, and of course, hiring those associates. These are all business challenges that every business, growth mode or contraction mode, that you'll be confronted with. There are various programs that may help you reduce or mitigate those costs associated with those necessary business practices. For example, one of them is the work opportunity tax credit. Based on turnover and, and the need to hire new associates, there is a screening process for this federal program where if you have your new employee fill out a form which is called the 8850 form, during the onboarding process when they fill out their I-9 and W-4 and possibly other internal documentation, that could lend themselves the opportunity to be eligible under certain socio-demographic targeted groups where you could receive a tax credit against your corporate income tax liability anywhere from $2,400, possibly up to $9,000. What are tax credits? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked that. Um, let me share this with you. Tax credits are a way for you to maximize federal programs that exist that you may not be aware of. For example, when you were younger, you had your first job out of high school or possibly out of college, you received your first W-2. You went to your parents and asked for some guidance. They may have directed you towards a CPA or tax advisor or H&R Block or Jackson Hugh and any number of business partners that could help you with your filing. And you received a tax return of $100, $200, not too, too much because your, your net income was not as large yet. Well, fast forward to where you are today. Uh, I'm sure you know it's, it's late January now, so you're pre preparing for your tax return for tax year ending 2008. Well, now in your life, you may have a spouse, you may have a mortgage on your home, you have paid property taxes, and now you have the ability to possibly receive a deduction or a credit against those monies that you've paid for those certain expenses. You take care of tax credits in your personal life. I would ask you and challenge you, are you doing the same things in your professional life? So as a business, you want to make sure that you can research and identify tax credit programs in your professional career the same way you do it in your personal life. Specifically and uniquely to the Knoxville area, there is an empowerment zone in, empowerment zone in Knoxville County, or in Knox County, excuse me. With the Work Opportunity Tax Credit, if you hire individuals that may live in this county, in this empowerment zone, if you will, that could lend itself to the opportunity of you receiving the tax credits that I've mentioned. As far as the process is concerned, uh, again, I, I shared a brief story about the onboarding process and filling out the 80 to 50 form. Imagine investing three to five minutes of your time during the new hire process. That could actually have a $2,400 to $9,000 impact on your business. But let me give you some more details. Why pursue? You would want to reduce your federal and state tax liability, give you the opportunity to reinvest those money saved back into your organization, whether that be to purchase equipment or provide a more significant merit increase to your staff or to bring on new headcount. Reinvest these dollars back into your company. Lower your effective tax rate. Not to repeat the same story, but again, not having to forecast such a large dollar value for your potential tax liabilities, you can free those monies up elsewhere to be reallocated. Reduce your operating cost. Again, we're all talking about a common thread here and theme, reducing expense. I would ask you, 
are you putting as much effort into reducing expenses as you are into growing your sales and revenue? We should be putting the same amount of value on, on reducing as we are in growth. There are many ways that you can find out. Technically, if you're located in the Palmer Zone, you can go to the City of Knoxville's website, www.cityofknoxville.org, and click on the Community Development link. You can also go to the HUD website, www.hud.gov/crlocator, and there is a link where you can actually put in the state and the address, and it will show you whether it's located in the Palmer Zone. And if you are businesses in the Palmer Zone, particularly if you've gotten a loan through the Empowerment Zone Small Business Loan Program, also known as the Empowerment Investment Bank, you can contact the Knoxville Area Urban League. The city's number is 215-2235. The Urban League's phone number is 524-5511. The initiative we had this morning was a collaborative effort the city of Knoxville, the Knox County government, the Workforce Connection, the Knoxville Chamber, and uh, Associated Data Processing, ADP. The five agencies and entities came together because we all have an interest and concern in summer youth employment and, and in regards to workers' opportunity tax credits. And what we doubt, thought it was best to do this morning is to have a kickoff event where we invited educators, we invited business leaders, and we invited tax professionals to come in and to hear information about why, first of all, it's important to hire youth. But not just so that it's important to hire youth, but what, what, what takes place in hiring youth, knowing the, the various rules, regulations, policies, and procedures associated with hiring children, because there are young people, and you have to make sure you're sensitive and knowledge of that. And of course, also in the empowerment zone, we want to always have an educated workforce, but we also want to have an employed task force, because there are kids out there who are good kids, who need jobs, who, needs, who need opportunities. So that was one for us of it. But we also wanted to, the business leaders to know, and the tax professionals to know, that there are tax credits and benefits associated with one being a business in the empowerment zone, but more importantly, and particularly for this entity, of hiring youth who reside in the empowerment zone. So we thought our efforts this morning was very good by having a good mix of people to come out and find out about a model summer youth program, to find out about child labor laws and OSHA requirements, but to also find out about tax credits and incentives specifically related to the Workers' Opportunity Tax Credit. And I think we were very pleased with the turnout this morning. We thought persons were enthusiastic and liked the information that they received, and certainly we'll be doing follow-up to make sure that that collaborative effort is out there and that network has been achieved. There are some deadlines, um, two in particular that I'd like to share with you. Uh, the empowerment zone for Knoxville is due to expire or sunset, if you will, on 12:31 of 09. So right now there's a high sense of urgency for participation, a great opportunity for you to take a look at your eligibility and qualifying status for this tax credit program because you also have the ability to amend previous year tax returns. Uh, the statute of limitations allows you to go retroactive for three years from your current open return. So as you prepare for 2008 tax filing, if you choose to amend 2007, 2006, and 2005, there are other tax credits along with this one that we could possibly identify for you. Then of course, we could help you maximize 2008, the current tax year filing that you're currently doing, and then prior to the sunset date of 12-31-09, when you file your 2009 returns in January of 2010, we can help you take advantage of that as well. The second deadline that I'd share with you with the Work Opportunity Tax Credit, the Form 8850 that I mentioned before needs to be submitted to the local agency within 28 days from the date of hire. So there's a high sense of urgency to participate in this program during the onboarding process. It is a one-shot deal. We do not have the opportunity to go back and recapture these screenings for new hires that you brought on board. So definitely would like to uh, assist you in that effort to make sure everyone you hire is screened to maximize your opportunity in retrieving these tax credits.